Welcome back. If you've hired our next guest to help you sort through uh, real estate and property transactions or even maybe some family legal issues or more, you may be wondering kind of like what are the first steps Attorney Tim Watson is back to kind of walk us through those steps and that process and what that looks like. Welcome back, Tim. Welcome Good to back, see Tim. you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Good to be back. Yeah, yeah great absolutely. To have you. absolutely. So, walk us through, I mean, as best you can in four minutes, right? Sure. Um, yeah, real <laughs> once, quick. Once someone hires you, is there any kind of pre work that is needed even before to potentially meet with you? There's not any work. Okay. I don't require anybody to have done work before they come and meet with me, okay. but the basis of everything is communication. And so okay. when I am looking to speak to a client or when a client is looking to speak to me, and this is different for every attorney, what I'm essentially trying to get as much as I can is the story. Sure. And I ask them to email it to me, write it down if they can, but let's just talk. Come in, call me on the phone, and let's start by getting the facts yeah. so okay. that I can figure out where we're going to go and we can talk about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I that's, like that. That's good. Absolutely. Now, let's just say we, you've talked, you've communicated, mm -hmm. and you've decided, okay, we maybe need to take this a step forward, maybe need to go right. uh, to court. What's kind of the steps in that? What's yeah. the process? Yeah. So <clears throat> let's say we're going to file a lawsuit. So I draft a complaint, which is literally where you write out the facts that are relevant and then assert the law. You say, this, this is how the law applies to these facts. So okay. if it's a breach of contract, you give the details about the entry of the contract, where the breach occurred, what happened, and then you say, this has been a breach of contract and this is what my client should get because of the breach. You put that all in a complaint and you file it. Okay. You've got to serve the other side. They've got 30 days to respond. They respond, and then you start the process of what's called discovery. And oh, discovery okay. is just what it sounds like. It's an opportunity to learn even more facts. So there are all kinds of methods that attorneys can use to try to find out what the other side says the facts are. Okay. You ask them questions. You ask them to produce documents. I can even subpoena documents from banks and from other places to try to piece together the story that's out there. Ultimately, I can get them in a room and ask them questions under oath. It's just like they're in court. There's a court reporter right there. It's oh, called a deposition. Oh, wow. Okay. You can ask them questions that they have to answer under oath, partly to try to figure out what their story is going to be and partly to try to nail down this is what they are going to say. Sure. And so if there's still a conflict, we might end up going on and having a jury mm. trial. Okay. If we're not able to settle it, which is something that we're always working on trying to do, we might end up trying to resolve it by asking the judge to resolve it by filing a motion. Sometimes if the judge doesn't think it's an easy matter of law that can just be resolved with a rule from the court, we go to trial. Okay. That can either be in front of a judge or a jury. And that's the big game. Once we get to the trial, we put on the whole case and we ask either a judge or a jury to tell us what the facts are. Yeah. Okay. That's ultimately what they do and then apply the law. Interesting. And yeah. I know that cases vary. They're all different. Mm -hmm. They all have all kind of their own, their own thing going on. But what, um, would you say there's a certain time frame yeah. that's, that's similar for case to case? You know, there's really not. Yeah. Um, and especially with COVID. I mean, we've had two years where people have not been able to get into court. Sure. And so we're backed up. Courts yeah. are really backed up to get these cases in. Cases that were supposed to be heard in the last two years are just now getting in. Okay. So right now, it does take a little bit longer to try to get into a courtroom, but you don't always have to get into a courtroom for the big trial to resolve your case. Sure. Okay. Attorneys help to work out settlements. Um, and of course, there are smaller hearings that you can have along the way. It's a lot easier to get in court if you're only going to be there for an hour yeah. than if you're going to be there for three days. That's sure. something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. for people. Absolutely. Yeah. So people need patience. <clears throat> yeah. People it's have not to have just patience. a quick process. Unfortunately, it is not always a quick. Pro it can be a quick process, but not always. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Good to know. Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we got some information for you right there on your screen. If you want to reach out to Tim Watson at Watson & Watson Law Firm, thanks for being here again, Thanks, man. Tim. Absolutely. I mean, you. the first step is always to give me a call. That's yeah. how we start talking and, and get rolling on that. That's yeah. where the communication starts. That's right. I love it. Yeah, That's appreciate right. you, Tim. Great to be here, guys. Thanks a lot.